for dinner and a movie. Let's head now this morning to the uh, editorial coordinator and film critic for HollywoodChicago.com. Patrick McDonald is back with us. Hey, Patrick, good morning. Hello. Hey, good morning, everybody. Be safe, be healthy, and because the virus knows no politics, wear a mask. Okay, let's talk about the uh, movies now for the weekend. What do you yep. let let him go? Tell me about this movie. Let him go. This is an old fashioned western type film with one of the best choices of character stars for this late career role. Kevin Costner portrays George, a retired lawman living with his wife Margaret, the great Diana Lane, on their horse ranch in 1960s Montana. Their young son, adult son has recently died, and his wife remarries and takes their only grandson out of town without telling them. When George and Margaret track down their ex-daughter-in-law, their grandson's new family won't allow them in without a fight. So this is a classic confrontational Western Scott with some amazingly spare storytelling and a stellar character acting from Cosder and Diane Lane. The villains, the grandson's new family, suffers a bit from being evil for evil's sake, but are very creepy nonetheless. This is what I like to call a movie movie, a film that reminds you of why you love them. Let him go four out of five, and it's in theaters. All right, in theaters now. All right, let him go. That uh, sounds like a good Kevin Costner movie, four out of yes. five. All right, what about Jungle Land? Tell us about this one. Okay, this is another character study film set among the hard scramble sport of bare knuckle fighting. You used to do that, didn't you, Scott? Mm. Mm. <laughs> mm. <laughs> it's Stanley Kaminsky, who manages his brother Lion, Jack O'Connor, but has screwed everything up along the way. A mobster named Pepper, Jonathan Majors, gives them an out by staking them toward a hundred grand fight in San Francisco. But first, they have to deliver a girl named Sky, Jessica Barton, to her obsessed crime boss in Reno. <laughs> this is a classic road picture with a very odd trio and takes a lot of unexpected turns. Director Max Winkler, yeah, that's Stefan's Henry Winkler's son, is a stylish filmmaker who knows how to create more character in his stories by placing his actor in grand set locations. There's a scene in the school that's amazing. The classic final fight delivers everyone to salvation. Jungle Land, four out of five. A limited uh, theater release this weekend, and then it's on video demand next week on November 10th.